guys, so this is part two of the what is on my Android phone, but in this video, I will be talking about how to personalize your phone, like how to change the layout, change the fonts, change um, all the icons, and then adding these kind of different features, uh, having a different kind of calendar, and just uh, this personalized page, as you can see here. And yeah, I'll just be going through it. Um, I'll be using my same footage that I used for the other video, so when I'm talking, it might not kind of make sense, but I'll be showing you how I did it. So, if you guys want to see how I personalize my phone with these apps, then just keep watching. Um, let's just get right into the personalizing folder here. Alright, so this first one again is the Memo Widget Girls and this one is the app that is used to make um, these little cute little memo thingies. It's actually not free, it's $1.24 which I think is really inexpensive so I did pay for it. Let's go back there and then it's really cute. All you have to do is just create, um, go to create a new memo and then um, kind of put whatever you want and then just save it and then to get it on your wallpaper just go to your app section and then the widgets up here you go to widgets and then you just kind of um, go through and try to find where that little widget part is here is where it is it's memo widget girls um, there's different sizes so this one is 2x2 two two, this one's 3x2 and I think those are the only two options so pretend I want the three by two you just kind of click it and then hold it and you drag into your wallpaper um, I'm out of room so I'm just gonna put it on a new page so once you get it on there this thing pops up and then it asks you which um, memo display you want so I'm just gonna do the homework one and then you click that and then it pops up right there on your wallpaper so if you want to delete it just kind of hold it and then remove it to the trash so that's all you need to do for that really awesome app and I just think it's really adorable. And here we have uh, Jarte which is the app to get this calendar and so um, this is really really useful. As you can see you can um, click on whichever date, let me just click on Saturday whatever and then you can just go to uh, add new and then you can add like an event, a diary, you can write a diary too which is cool task I'm just gonna do an event and then I'm just gonna say um, Saturday I guess <laughs> and you can click an icon here and choose from all these icons so I'm just gonna click this girl running and then you can set a time or do all day you can add location all that stuff add a reminder and then just click create and so it pops up here and so when you go to your home screen um, it's added there so you can see Saturday and then the little girl there as well so um, there's so many things you can do you you really have to like um, really explore it for yourself like go to the settings down here and then um, you can change so many things like you can change the theme you can also change the design the color the background you can do lime green or ocean blue um, lemon chiffon but I just want this strawberry milk and you can change the background, uh, all these features, change the fonts, um, and then the themes. And you just really, really have to go through all of these um, different features and stuff like that to really understand this app because there's so much to offer. Or to get it on your wallpaper, you just kind of have to do the same thing. Go to apps, widgets, and then um, Jorte has a lot of options, as you can see. Like, all of these are Jorte. Jorte options like the sizes and so I did the 6x6 six six here so I just hold it drag it onto this new page and then um, it gives you the option here of either doing monthly like what mine is mine is monthly or you can do monthly slash task or you can do like vertical two weeks weekly agenda so let's try to do monthly and task and then you can change like all of these features you can change to show the image you can change to make it a little bit more transparent, which I like, so I do like 75%. And then you can change the size of the um, fonts, so I'm going to do 130, whatever. Um, just do completed, and then um, that's what your calendar looks like, because it has your calendar, and then it has tasks too, if that's what you want. 
So yeah, um, I'm not going to keep this, so I'm just going to drag it and remove it. Next app is HD Widgets, um, which is the app to get um, these really cool time and weather. And it's the same thing for this little weather thing too that's cool. Um, it gives you weather throughout the week and you have a lot of options. This is what it looks like. You have to also download uh, another app called mine. I use Cairo, but there's also Glass Gym, but I don't use Glass Gym. I just use Cairo. And you can do like different sizes. You can click the sizes up here, um, like two by one, four by one. Um, four by one has a lot of options. Or the forecast, which is what I did. Um, you can do weather plus the three day uh, weather and smart state and weather. You know, a lot of different options here. And so um, the one I did is forecast, and then you can change the background. You can change these kind of like different icons uh, whichever one you want you can change the text color and all this really like good features so just check that out if you want to kind of change the way your time looks and stuff and then the timer that I did do is 4 by 2 I believe yep so you have these different options um, mine was the clock and date or clock date so mine is just kind of looks like this I just changed the features Alright, so next is Coco Pa, and this app is the one that changes all these icons to whichever picture that you want. And it's really cool, you don't even have to, like, um, choose a specific, like, if you found a Facebook icon that's really cute, you don't have to use it for Facebook. You can use it for anything that you want. So as you go here, there's really popular ones here, or featured icons, or you can go down here, which is what I do, I like to search it. So, for instance, say I want to change my Facebook icon because I just want to, you know, something different. You just search Facebook, and then all these really cute options for the Facebook um, icon. So let's just try to find something cute. So let's pretend I want um, this one. You click on it, and then down here you just click um, use this icon, and then it'll pop up to look something like this, and then it's just loading, and then you can click whichever um, app you want to use this icon for so you can use for Instagram if you wanted to or whatever but I'm just gonna do Facebook so you just click Facebook and then it has features where you can round the corners so you can have like an actual square you can have it rounded or you can add like a, add like a little gloss to it uh, so if you did a gloss it just adds like this little cute little gloss here um, sometimes I do it sometimes I don't I'll just do it for this time and then just click OK and then um, just click OK again and then it'll just um, pop up on your um, wallpaper so you have to go back and you want to make sure you have room on your wallpaper for it to pop up so um, let's see here it is as you can see Facebook here and then yeah you just just leave it there you can put in folders or whatever but I'm just gonna stick to this one that I have already so I'm just gonna delete this one Coco Pot also has a bunch of like wallpapers the wallpaper that I have is also from Coco Pot and then you can click uh, wallpaper here and then just kind of go through whatever you want. It's really easy, really simple. Um, just click on it if you want this one. Just use uh, set as wallpapers, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then they also have really cute widgets as well. Um, mostly just web search if you want this on your wallpaper. So you can kind of click and then Google whatever really quick. So yeah, just kind of explore this app. Alright, next is Bulky, and this is the app that I was talking about where it creates these live Bulkies that move around and when you touch it, it kind of moves. So let's go into that one. So this is what it looks like. Um, you can set a wallpaper, like add a background to it. So right now this is what mine looks like, but you can go to settings and then, um, and then you can go to custom photo and just load up load your photo that you want and you can also change the colors of the bulkies you can make it green blue whatever I like it white and then you can change how many bulkies you want I like a little bit less you can change how fast they're moving which is so cool um, and you can change like if you touch them that they kind of run around so you can change that and yeah once you're done you can just kind of set it as your wallpaper just set as wallpaper and then it sets out your as your wallpaper so that's really cool. this one is just like really optional for me but i really liked it i just wanted to have like an inspirational quote and then some pictures the app to make the quote is called let's see simple text widget here and yeah you just kind of 
make the quote that you want and to put it on your wallpaper you have to do, again go to your widget section and find it here mm -hmm. here simple text widget and I think there's only one option so you just hold it and then drag it to your open space and then um, it automatically goes to this page where you can add what you want so I'm just gonna do a hello there <laughs> And then you can change like the font color, the background color here, um, and then change the gravity where you want it like to the left, to the right, up or down, and then the font size. But I'm just going to leave it as that. And then um, you just want to click your um, back screen and then there you go. You have it and you can like make it bigger or like make it smaller and just move it around. Or you can move it around like this. And then just kind of tap on the side to make it go away. Then the um, app to make these pictures is called Nice Simple Photo Widget. You have to go back to the widget section and find the Nice Simple Photo Widget, which is over here. I just saw it. It's right here. These They do have different sizes, but I just do 2x2, two two, hold it, drag it. And then um, I just make it smaller. So since I just want like one, 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 one picture, uh, and then you click to the side and then you, it says click me to set up. Go to settings and then select a photo and just select whatever photo that you want. So I'm just going to click on um, this flower photo and then um, you can change like the frame size. Kind of change the opacity of it to kind of make it see through. And then um, that's pretty much it. You just go back and then go to, you can crop if you want to. I'm um, just going to try cropping it to a square. And then you can click uh, save and then go to home screen and there's your photo um, this is with the border I didn't change the border setting yeah you can just change it how you want it and then again if you want it uh, kind of like cornered like mine just go ahead and use rounded corners where it just you just load a picture and you just kind of crop it so I'm just gonna crop like that much and then just save it and then I'll save this beautiful like rounded corner and then you can just load that onto um, this app to get your photo so yeah that's pretty much it for the quote and the picture so icon. I'm gonna talk about how to change your font now as you can see the font uh, that I have is really cute it's not that Samsung font so it's just this really adorable font uh, my font is called uh, mix 17 font nine I believe but when I get to the settings I'll show you exactly what it is but what I did was I just downloaded some apps um, that has really cute fonts so I don't remember exactly which of the app had the font that I have but I'll just show you three of them because I only downloaded three um, the first one is called free fonts pack 17 so you can look that up um, and then just go through see what kind of fonts they have and then the next um, one is called 50 written fonts or written fonts 50 it just kind of depends but then that's another font package and then the last one is apps that I have I don't again I don't remember which one of that packet has my font that I use but once you download it you just want to go to your settings um, so go to your settings and then you want to click device depends on which Samsung you have and then you want to go and find font here just want to click that and then it'll ask font style and so my font style as you can see here is mix um, 17 font 9 so you want to change it you just want to click it and then it's going to load all of the fonts that you just downloaded so as you can see I have really cute fonts now um, I think the Samsung one is the regular um, font that the phone comes with so say I wanted to change it to this one you just want to click it and then click yes and then it will change all of the fonts as you can see my fonts have changed to that font setting but I'm just gonna go back and change it to my original font because I really like that one also in this font settings you can change the size of your font you can make it small extra large huge tiny but I just made it small because I don't want it too big or too small so yeah that's how you change your font um, and also the font size and as you can see it's just back to my regular font now that's pretty much it for like, how to make it cute so if you guys have any questions just let me know down below and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye